Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm sorry it's been a little while since I filmed anything. Uh, we've been dealing with some family issues. My, my father passed away earlier this year, so um, this was his business. It's closed now. But we've been buttoning a few things up, and this is this is one of them I wanted to show you. It's a 95 F-150 flare side. It was a 302 automatic car. 4R70W transmission is flare side, as you can see. It's in good shape. It really is. It needs a paint job. I mean, the body's straight and sound. Even all, all the body in the bed. It's got a few loose panels like right here. You can see. Maybe. But that just probably needs to be tightened. I'm no body man. He can let somebody, somebody else do the body work. This is the original 302. Had about 145 or 55,000 miles on it, I, I think. I can't remember. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it, it still runs good, but he's a little, little bit of a gearhead, I guess, and wants a little bit more fun out of it. So there's the heart. It's a 347, 302 based. Um, it is a 70 two block i believe so it is not a factory roller it has a retrofit cam in it the specs on that are 230 230 duration at 50 thousandths on the intake and exhaust 544 tap it lift intake and exhaust it is a hydraulic roller it is a comp it is i've got the the sheet over here i can't remember the ground number the ground number is 290 rf dash hr10 you can see it there and there's the duration and there's the lift that is a comp piece like i said and it's got comp rockers um it is a scat bottom end it has a scat cast crank scat forged i-beam rods and wise co forged aluminum pistons it's got the AFR 185cc Renegade heads on it with the 58cc chamber. It's got 185cc intake runners and 168, I believe, exhaust runners. Get a lot down there. <clears throat> now, I'm not particularly a Ford man. Most of you know by watching the channel, I'm a Dodge guy, but. Ford and Chevrolet guys, I'm jealous of those heads. I wish they would make some for Mopar, but unfortunately, they do not. So, yeah, we've cleaned the frame rails and painted it a little bit. I mean, it's it's not done. It's got some buttoning up to do. The truck, the engine hasn't been fired yet. The distributor's out for. I, I need to prime the oil pump, so I've got an older distributor take the gear off of it so it won't mesh to the cam and you can get the dry that uh, oil pump intermediate shaft and prime the oil pump i've got to get some braking oil um trying to think what else obviously got to plumb everything back up do some more cleaning some wiring that's going to be the big nightmare we're going to attempt to use the factory uh, fuel pump i've got to get a regulator to regulate from 50, 55 PSI down to four. So they do make them and they do work. They're just a little expensive. And I'm gonna to try to find some fittings to utilize the old uh, quick disconnects. So that way we can retain a good seal. It is topped with this Edelbrock Performer RPM air gap, dual plane intake manifold, and a 750 mechanical secondary Edelbrock AFB, AVS, whatever, Carter style carburetor, whatever you want to call them. Um, not particularly a fan of them, but he is, that's what he wanted, so that's what he's getting. Um, this is, like I said, a mechanical secondary, as you can see. It's all mechanical. It's not vacuum actuated like most, so it's pretty interesting. It is electric choke said that is a dual plane manifold 
<clears throat> trying to think of anything else. It's got a 2400 stall converter in it. it. This is a factory posi truck. So I think he's just going to attempt to utilize that for now. It may need a gear change in the future, but I, we really don't know yet. The transmission's pretty stout. It's been freshly redone. So it should handle this 347, no problems. Like I said, it's not gonna be a drag racer. It's just gonna be a street cruiser. He may take it to the drag strip, but if he does, it'll still be on street rate. Street tires, I'm sure. No radials or drag slicks. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. You can see this, it really is a pretty straight truck. Um, just so you know, I do still have the Mighty Max and the plan is to finish it, but uh, like I said, with all we've got going on, I don't know exactly when. You know, my dad and I had got some work done to it before he passed. So it's just, I've, I've got to finish it. I haven't made time. And I have, honestly just haven't felt like working on it. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll try to keep you updated with, you know, like with the Mighty Max. I want to do another video with the 1500 Dodge of mine. And I'll keep you updated on this, guys, too. Let me know what you guys want to watch, um, what, what interests you. If you have any questions, just let me know, too. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.